Hello friends, my name is Gizan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the functional interface is called function that belongs to the uh, package is called java.util.function. So let's try to search function interface in JDK by pressing Ctrl Shift T. So F U N C T I O N function. Right, so here is the functional function, functional interface. So if you look into this interface, then this interface already we have been using while writing the lambda expression in many examples in past few video tutorials. But uh, in this functional interface, we are also having few default methods like compose and then an identity. So basically in this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about this default methods. So let's start with the compose i assume that you under understand the first abstract method what's the apply so if you do not understand then please go to my previous video so still i would like to give you i mean little overview on this so basically this is a functional uh, interface method it's a abstract method which takes one input argument that is generic one and that applies to the output that is also a generic so once you take the input you process you apply some business logic and it returns the another object or same object right that's the use of apply method now let's go to the compose now look at the jdk description i mean java doc description saying that returns a composed function that first applies the before function to its input so if you look into the i mean implementation of compose then first of all that check if before is coming so compose taking a functional inter uh, function uh, function uh, interface as a reference right so when before you are sending as a null then immediately that will throw an exception if before is not null then uh, look at here so uh, we are just applying first before and then this is after so that's why this uh, description says returns a composed function that first applies the uh, before function to its input right first just that is applying the uh, before function to its input and then applies this function to the result if evaluation of either function throws an exception it is related to the caller of the composed function so it's a very very clear description over here now this java doc also uh, written about the uh, input and output parameter that is self understood so here what I have done, I have already written the uh, source code uh, offline and that I will I will try to explain you. So here I have given the class name which is function compose test and here in this source code what I have written, let me explain you. So basically I have defined a function functional interface which is a, uh, input is employee and uh, I have written output is a string so and I have given the lambda expression variable name as emp name fun so here just I am trying to retrieve the employee name so that's that's the this is pretty straightforward lambda expression right now uh, I have written another lambda expression which has a key means input and output both I have taken as employee now lambda expression contains more than one statement that's why we have a open and close brace and what I, I want I'm trying to do now uh, just I'm I'm taking employee first name from employee itself let me show the, uh, the employee class so employee class is a simple pojo class which contains two private fields name and age and uh, there is a constructor which initializes name and age and public we have a public getter method and see I have written setter method for name as well because I need to set name only some one of the example and I have overridden two string method over here so let's come back again so here just I am writing the employee of the name and just I'm trying to find the index of index of uh, blank space right so so for the I actually in employee I have added a lot of name and age right a lot of employee object I have added and every name contains one blank so there is a first name and last name between that we have a, we have a blank space so just I'm trying to index of the blank space from the name 
and uh, what I am trying to do, I am just retrieving the first, I have given them variable name, first name. So e dot get name and sub string I have applied 0 to index. So this will give the index up to this blank space. So basically just I am retrieving the first name from employee and that I am storing in the first name variable. And finally in employee instance, right, just I am calling the set, set, set name and just I am trying to set the name of the employee right and that that is going to return by this lambda expressions so we have a two lambda right uh, emp uh, this is first lambda this is second lambda now i have created a list right uh, by calling as list method on arrays and i'm just trying to add some uh, employee object right so these are the employee object i have added by passing name and age and finally i have created a local method is called convert emp list to names list and here i am passing this emp list which i have just created and uh, here i have just trying to show you how we can make use of the compose method so here first this is a functional interface reference i'm just calling a compose method on it right so so if you have a reference of functional interface then you can call on the compose method right on that so I, and first i'm passing and second uh, after right if you go to the here then this is the before before i'm passing to the as a uh, argument right so so this is a before right if you look into the method signature so this is the before so before applies first and then after after applies so just I'm trying to apply before and just I'm calling to this local method local method will take list of list of employees and here return of compose you can see the return of compose is the functional interface itself that's why here in method signature contains employee uh, function and key is the employee and value is the string itself so this is also a reference of functional interface and here just I have created a empty array list and just I'm trying to iterate this list and in this list I'm just trying to add uh, this I'm applying uh, this functional interface just I'm calling apply method on it and I'm just passing every employee to it and this list will return to the caller right so that's why return type of this method is list itself so this will uh, finally return the uh, employees first name right so this list will contain the employees first name only so in that way we are just making use of the compose method if i run this program then you'll see uh, i mean employees first name is getting returned and that just we are printing over here using lambda expression so i hope you understood how we can make use of the compose method which is available on the function functional interface now next method in this uh, functional interface is called and then right so it's a pretty straightforward so you can uh, read the java doc saying that returns a composed function that first applies this function to the its input and then applies the after function to the result right if evaluation of either function throws an exception it is related to the color of the composed function right so this is the sorry uh, now we have another example and then right so function and then test so here you can see you are, to show this demo just i have created a lambda expression right a lambda expression uh, of function interface right so key is i have taken as an input i am taking as an employee and output I, we want as a string right so that's why e dot get name this will return the a string itself right so this is the lambda for function interface now i have created list of employees as previous example and i have added list of employees in this list right and here i'm just created a another lambda expression for function interface and this time key and value both i'm key we are providing as a string input we are providing as a string we want output as a string itself so now s i have written the lambda expression and here we want uh, basically we want to uh, we want to extract first letter of uh, employee name right so that's why this is this is a this is a substring method from the uh, string class itself 
so 0 to 1 so last index is exclusive one so 0 to 0 this will give the first uh, character from every name right so I want to apply it and so uh, this will give the I mean first character of name now I have created a local method is called convert EMP list to name list and I'm passing this list which we have created and here I have shown how to make use of and then method so here we have already one lambda expression for function interface I'm calling and then method right if you look into the signature of and then look at the inter return type functional interface so you can apply the method chain on it so EMP name and then so first I'm telling first apply this functional interface so this will give the name of the employee and then I'm, I'm, I'm telling that apply this lambda expression so this lambda expression this will give the full name of the employee and then and then we are applying this function enter this interface will give you the only first letter of the employee and uh, and just we are preempting uh, first letter of the employee in this loop right so here this code is pretty straightforward right so here just I have created empty list and just we are iterating this list and in this empty list just we are adding just we are calling apply method on it and we are passing every employee so this will extract the first character uh, from the every name and that will return to the caller so this list will contain the uh, no, uh, employee name with first letter only right and if I try to print then this will print the first letter of the employee name T H E N D right so that is extracted so T Tom for Tom first letter T then Harry H right Ethan E Nancy N and Deborah D right so that's the I hope you understood how to make how we can make use of the and then method which is available on the function functional interface now last method in this list we have a identity so it's pretty straightforward right you can see the java doc returns a function that always returns its input argument so whatever input you specify same output you got to get right so that's it's pretty straightforward so I have uh, another class to show this demo function identity test so this is pretty straightforward so here we have created a list like previous example and we have just created a local method is called apply identity to list and here what we are trying to do we are passing this list and function dot identity we have called and look at the signature of this method this method take, accepting this list of employees and here reference reference of functional interface because if you look into the return type of this guy functional interface right so function interface itself and now just we are iterating this uh, we are iterating this list which is coming from the client and uh, just adding uh, uh, just we are apply uh, we are uh, we are just calling apply method on this uh, functional uh, function interface reference and passing every employee to this so that will add every employee to the list and that is uh, in this uh, list and that is getting returned to the caller and same we are trying to print it over here using for each loop so if I run it then we get the take an information about all employees uh, we get the I mean output like this because we have overridden uh, two string method in employee class itself so I hope you understood I mean uh, uh, how we can make use of these three method compose and then an identity so here uh, so if you understood these three examples then you can apply this concept in your real project so wherever I mean this requirement and this scenario matches with your uh, actual requirement so you can implement uh, your functionality uh, using this uh, functional function interfaces all right so thanks for watching this video and next video i will come up with this some i mean some new concept from java 8 so see you in next video today and this code i'm going to upload on the github so that you can download it and github location i will specify in the below to the video description itself so thank you so much